Hello. Hello. <laughs> we are Loops and Lap Bars and today we are here at Plopsaland. We are uh, indeed. <laughs> there's so many good things to look forward to today, so we're just going to get right into it, get cracked on and we'll take you along for the ride. Yep. See you later. <laughs> So, we got into the park and we initially headed straight for uh, Rides Happiness uh, only to find that it was uh, it was closed until 11 uh, which wasn't advertised but it's not the end of the world No. because we ended up on Heidi! Um, it's the wooden roller coaster that's in Plopsa Land I will admit from the car park it looks quite intimidating but I'll tell you something, it's as smooth as butter it's a nice little fun ride and for me personally, it's better than Wicker Man. <laughs> uh, I'll have to have another ride on it to, to see whether I would say that it's better or, or the same than Wicker Man, but um, it's a bit newer than Wicker Man, but really, really good fun. Um, you know, uh, nice and snappy and things like that. Not too rough at all, um, but that was, uh, that was Heidi the ride. It was, and after that we headed for the Dragon Roller Coaster. Um, which Dare is a bit Drac, like, I think it's called, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit yeah. like uh, the Dragon at Legoland, only a bit longer, a bit better as well. In some regards, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a powered coaster, so you don't have to worry about lift hills or anything like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, nice uh, nice thing. It's not a bit juddery, but I'm guessing it's on the older side. Uh, but yeah, nice and themed. And uh, once, we'd, uh, once we'd got through that... Then we decided for Ride to Happiness. Yeah, and... <laughs> didn't know what to expect with this if we're completely honest we knew it was going to be smooth we knew it was going to be twisty but that's about it um, <laughs> obviously everyone's raved about it there's been a few people that have said that uh, it's not been their idea of fun however it is my idea of fun it was phenomenal <laughs> uh, um, yeah it, I will give it its due it's brilliantly themed it's smooth as butter um, it is a little bit on the intense side, oh, yeah. but because it's smooth, it's not too unpleasant. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, I don't know if I'd go on a second time. Oh, I, do, I, I will but... ride it as many times as needs be. Um, <coughs> I do need to ride it a couple more times to decide what, you know, what in the UK it is better than. It's definitely top five. It's um, definitely better than Icon. Yeah, it's definitely better than Icon. It's definitely better than Storm Chaser, which is the closest I've got to compare it to. Um, but um, onboard audio is lovely. The launches are great. You know, you actually you actually feel the second launch. You do. Whereas Icon's is very gradual. It's like Whoop. whereas on this there is a kick. It kicks and shoves you up the, up the next launch, which is wonderful. It's got uh, induction turners on it as well. So as you launch the first launch, spins you. So you get a spin irrelevant. Uh, and yeah, just from start to finish, absolutely wonderful, in my opinion. Um, I'll definitely be giving it more rewrites. So that's uh, Heidi the Ride, Dead Drac the Dragon, yeah. and Ride Happiness. Um, I think next we're probably going to go on the uh, on the Duck Roundabout, which is yeah, Ducks be, the Ride, as we're yeah, naming it, because uh, it literally is big ass ducks. Looks uh, amazing. Yeah, uh, La Ronde des Canards. Apologies for butchering the French there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a big, uh, uh, you know, good bit of fun there. So we'll see you after that. So as you can see, we're in the car because <laughs> we uh, we 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 finished on the uh, on the ducks ride that, was, that we were set, and then it was just ride after ride after ride because we wanted to get as much in as possible. So we've not really stopped to update. Uh, but yes, we got on the uh, on on the duck roundabout. Ducks the ride, as Tracy's calling it. And how was it? Oh, ducks the ride was fun. It's yeah. a fun little ride for kids. It really is, and big kids. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's nothing to write home about, apart from the fact it's just giant ducks. Um, same to be, it can be said for the next one after that, which was called um, I think it was something like uh, Le Petit Lapin, which is the little rabbit, uh, which is very similar to you said it was like very similar to Sleep Near, uh, Sleep near um, or George's Dinosaur Adventure at uh, Portland's, Portland's Park, Park yeah. uh, in that you ride a little animal around a track. Um, no cameras or anything like that, just a good little bit of fun. Same for um, Jet Ski, 
which is the same as the one jet ski at... yeah which is same as hydra's challenge at legoland uh, um that was a nice little ride same for the double deck carousel yeah double and, deck carousel uh, and the wave swing um wave but, swing yeah. but uh, yeah they're, they're just as exactly as they expect them to be Oh, so yeah, uh, after we did a few flat rides, we stopped for lunch and we stopped in a really nice uh, themed sort of circus tent, essentially. Um, we both had Bicky chicken burgers. Uh, Dave got the meat one, I got the meat free one, um, just as something different to try. Yeah, um, um, well, though mine wasn't a chicken burger. Uh, um, yeah. But it was unlike anything I've ever had before. Um, because as uh, you know, Tracy took a phone call while we were having dinner, but I was looking it up, and Bicky is a uh, Dutch uh, invention essentially. But the the Dutch don't seem to be that bothered by it, so they sold it to the Belgians, and the Belgians have lapped it up. Uh, and it doesn't sound very appetising when you hear what it actually is. It's basically minced pork, minced beef, and minced horse meat, all in a burger. But I didn't notice anything strange about it. Apart from the, the, the sauce that they put on it, and because the, the, you had the same sauce on yours, yeah. didn't you? And it's almost like it was chip shop, chip shop curry, curry yeah. or something like that. There's something very similar, and it was it was pleasant, though. It was a really it nice was, burger. Yeah, and they put uh, on both burgers, they had crispy onions as yeah. well, as well as gherkins, yeah. um, which was a bit of a different take. The chips were nice as well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. standard and the, chips, though. Really, yeah, standard way. sort of fries um as you would expect 30 cent a litre drink i think both meals roughly cost us 14 euros each uh yeah uh somewhere around the 14 15 euros i've i've got um uh, videos of the receipts and things like that so you'll see on screen in a moment um but uh, very enjoyable um yeah. especially for something completely different uh, so that was dinner Yeah, so after lunch we found a really, really properly cutesy um, dark sort of city and water ride and it takes you around Little Village. Um, it's based on a TV show from what we can tell uh, about a little village in the life of gnomes. Yeah, it's, um, it's called uh, La Forêt de Plop, which we presume <laughs> translates to the Forest of Plops. Plops. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it is unbelievably adorable um not to the point of being sickening or anything like that yeah it's just no no adorable is not the word charming 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 yeah. is the word yeah um uh, absolutely adorable in there you know there's uh, um so many different uh, animatronics going off and it's just you know, no matter where you look it's this theming and it's th heavy theming isn't it it's, yeah you know, it's heavy theming it's been absolutely lovely to be here today and be completely immersed in every land you've gone in and every area you have gone in is themed up to the eyeballs and it is such it's oh, so, you're so talking, nice. yeah, outside the right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on that actually we went on uh, I'll, t I'll top, uh, talk about it a bit later on but we went on a log flume and as daft as it sounds it was, we got to the top of log flume I saw outside outside of the park for the first time and that was, oh, it must have been about two o'clock or something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, no, at no point have we seen outside the park up until that point. It was Apart excellent. Apart from a couple of bits on Heidi Coaster, but even then you only see the car park. Yeah, and to be so, fair, I wasn't really looking for that. You know, I was uh, more interested in what the coaster was doing. But, um, yeah, following on from uh, uh, La Forêt de Plop, um, we... Uh, had to go on the train, didn't we? We did, yeah. The little train plops at Express that goes round the park, calls at four different stations. You get on, get off, wherever you'd like. Yeah. Um, um, what is it? You started at the main entrance plaza. Um, then the next stop would have been Heidi the Ride. Yeah. Uh, then it goes round to the Vikings area, which we didn't really spend much time in. Um, and then it stops off at, at the Princess area where the teacups are. Oh, no, 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 yeah. The. Um, Oh, the little kids area. The uh, I can't remember the name of the TV channel, but it's a it's a Belgian kids TV channel area. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, but um, yeah, and it, it just was one big cycle, um, and yeah, it was a nice, pleasant little sit down. It was, yeah. Um, as I alluded to earlier, yes, we did go on the log flume Dino Splash, uh, which is um, uh, just probably not as nicely themed as some of the other rides, um, but still. But it's still well good. themed. Yeah. Um, um, it takes you inside a volcano and stuff. It does, really cool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's nice to go on a water ride and not come off soaked. 
Yeah, it just um, gives you a bit of a smattering. Uh, yeah. We still took um, uh, waterproofs on just to be on the safe side because we've still got plenty of the day to do. And one of the things that we have found, it's been very windy. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, Dino Splash, uh, two drops, and one of them ha is a double down, so yeah. it gives me some idea as to what Logger's Leap was like at uh, uh, Thought Park. Um, but that was great. And I don't know whether I prefer that or the other water idea, Super Splash. Uh, which is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Yeah, no, I it's, haven't been on anything similar either. Um, it is officially classed as a water coaster, and it's exactly what you'd expect. It's a, tra a boat that goes on rails um, and then you know comes down a big hill into a um, splashdown. Uh, uh, no, a bunny hill, and then goes into a splashdown. But what I liked about the ride is, you, as you leave the station, uh, and if you don't want spoilers, stop here. But as you leave the station. Um, you go onto an elevator lift hill and it turns the, the boat at the same time so essentially you leave above the station yeah. um, and it, it's it's, re it's a really good fun ride was that yeah. um, so those are the two water rides that they've got here um, not excluding you know, excluding the uh, sort of little um, transport rides and, and things like that and we did Anubis this afternoon that was an experience <laughs> that ride <laughs> Even though Ride to Happiness is uh, LSM, Anubis is. It gives me hope that LSM launch coasters can pack a punch. Yeah. Because <laughs> the launch track can. Uh, I, I, well, it must be only 10 metres long or something like that. If that, it's not yeah. a very long one. But it accelerates. You have a rolling launch and it accelerates you uh, up to I think 90 kilometres an hour, uh, which is uh, somewhere in the region of uh, 55, 60 miles an hour. Um, and it feels it. It's, it does, it's yeah. very yeah. good, but it's uh, yeah, even for Gerslauer standards, um, there's no rattle. Uh, it was. I thought it was quite smooth. You said you got. Yeah, a bit of I got a little bit of head knocking, but other than that, generally overall, it was a very very smooth ride. Yes. Um, um, very similar. Yeah. Uh, Heidi, uh, Heidi the ride, um, uh, Anubis, ride, uh, you know, ride to happiness. Even um, oh, what was it? Uh, hashtag like me coaster. Yeah. Even that for being a Tivoli, uh, which we've ridden the other two Tivolis in the UK. Uh, what were the uh, tree topper uh, tree tops at Oakwood and um, Express Express at, at Pleasurewood Hills. That's the one. Uh, they are exactly the same, but uh, 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 hashtag like me coaster. It just felt really, really comfortable. It's yeah. it's almost like that they've just you know they've smoothed everything out here. Um, yeah. But so that was Anubis and uh, hashtag like me coaster just yeah. a little bit. Um, but on the hashtag like me coaster, it's like everything here. Everything has got some form of branding to it, yeah. which is why it's called hashtag like me coaster. Because um, there is a I think it's a band or band music musical yeah, group music, called Like yeah. Me. Um, so that's those two. <clears throat> So after we took the train back um, and we got off at the little plaza because that was one section we hadn't uh, done and the plaza itself, you walk into it and it's done up like a Parisian street. It's really, really well themed and just off it they've got a little children's area predominantly called Maya Land, uh, which from what we can gather is a kids tv program about some bumblebees and insects yeah or it's, um, it's, yeah, it's something to do with the park mascots when i've not, yeah. not looked into it so i do apologize for the ignorance there yeah um and you walk into it and it's literally like you've been transported into a literal forest uh the theming in there is amazing yeah um and for a kids area it's got at least three it's got two climbing uh, big tall climbing areas it's got at least three rides in there it's yeah, got well, a restaurant the, the, there's a restaurant there's that big slide that you went yeah, on uh, uh, there's as you say the climbing frames there is um, a demolition derby ra uh, ride called the water lilies I think it was water called water lilies yeah uh, there's, there's a rocking tug, rocking but I tug didn't get the name of that no uh, there's a junior uh, sort of drop tower very similar to um, the fire and ice ride at Legoland um, and a Oh, I can't remember the name of it again, no. so I'm apologies for my ignorance. But it was you were sat in a, a in a flower, and you had the uh, the ability to control the height of the uh, of the ride as it, as it goes around. So you can go up and down. It's almost like Jeremy the Jet, uh, jet Ride at uh, yeah. uh, 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 Drake Manor, but yeah. on a bigger scale. And it also has water sprays, doesn't it? Which is a good it bit does, of fun because yes. <laughs> if you're if if you're in the inside seat and you've got control of it, you can get the outside seat wet. <laughs> yes. And uh, that did happen. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Myerland. Uh, <laughs> I 
wasn't really that fussed about it because you know, obviously I'd seen the uh, uh, the list of rides that was in there and thought, oh, it's it's just kids' ride sort of thing. But do yourself a favour and go in there and just have a look at it because it is really, really pretty. It is, yeah. It's a very pretty area. So, right, to summarise then. If you're going to come to Plopsa Land with your family, well recommend it. This is a perfect, perfect family park. It's got the right mix of enough sort of scary thrill rides for the thrill seekers in the family, but enough kids rides to keep the kids entertained as well. And, and everything plenty in between. In between. Mm. Um, it is massively themed up. Everywhere you go, there is theming. And... I weirdly it works you can walk from the pirate land into the princess land and you don't feel too much of transition um yeah the other thing i'd mention on that one is yeah. that when we uh we we, we, we we earlier on i mentioned that we went to ride to happiness and we ended up on Hi uh, heidi um you go through a portcullis essentially into a knight's kingdom that then suddenly transitions into um, a jurassic park sort of area yeah while there's a uh a, a, a was it swiss sort of scene yeah well yeah um, well you've got sort of swiss chalets in the background um it's very very well done i can honestly say theme in today you're not gonna be disappointed there is a lot of stuff to look at if you come in for the theming and you don't potentially want to do the rides but even so, there's enough gentle rides that you can get on and do mm. as well. All the ride staff we've had today, even the ones where we have struggled with a little bit on, a, on the with the language on occasion, we've done really, really well. They seem to have sort of international sort of arms in, arm raising that kind of thing. So you don't yeah. need to be fluent in either Dutch or French to be able to come and enjoy a day here. Yeah, I'm going to say that's nice. something that, yeah, just to allude to. Um, very, very basic French will get you a long way. Uh, like, for example, I am not very uh, fluent in French at all. Uh, Brian managed to order me dinner in French and I, I felt better for doing it because yeah. um, I, I don't, I don't want to insult anyone by saying I, I, you, know, you shouldn't be an ignorant Brit or anything like that. But... I came with the expectation that there was going to be at least a little bit more English known here, um, and there isn't, which is good because um, yeah. we came we came to see Plopsland. We didn't come to see Blackpool Pleasure Beach or anything like that. We came to see a foreign a foreign parks, uh, foreign countries park, um, and we got by with what little we knowledge did. we had. Yeah, it is also advisable if you have got Google Translate on your phone to download. Uh, the Dutch language and well, as well as the French language on there, just in case you're uh, you're not able to uh, you know to have um, data on or anything like that, um, so that you can translate things because Google Translate is an absolute godsend is, uh, yeah. for some of the things that we've seen. We've managed to work a few things out, but there's other things that you you just have no idea, like some of the menu items we've been yeah. quite sure on that. <laughs> um, but uh, you want to talk about merchandise? I did. Yes, I like my merch, as you people now know. <laughs> And yes, I'm a sucker for a pin badge. Unfortunately, there isn't much here. Now, if you want fridge magnets, you can go home with a fridge full. Fridge full. I assure <laughs> you of that one. However, pin badges, lanyards, a little bit thin on the ground. Um, they have got like Ride to Happiness and also their uh, Tomorrowland t-shirts as well. And it does look really nice stuff. Yeah, and it does look nice stuff. And the hoodies, they've got some nice hoodies as well. I'll be honest... The hoodies, the t-shirts, they're not as cheap as the UK, so be prepared for that. You're going to be looking at easily 50 euros for a t-shirt. Um, How much was the hoodies? It the hoodies were, they were, at were 85, Euro. 95 yeah. euro, which when you consider roughly it's a pound to a euro at the moment, that's quite expensive. Yeah. Um, um I mean to say they do have mugs they have pins little things they've got a lot of the branded merch though with the ips around the park if so if you're into sort of belgian tv programs you're on to a winner yeah <laughs> if you're not though like we, we yeah. have absolutely no idea on it and um, then yeah you're going to have uh, uh, you know have issues with, with merchandise I, i've come away with with a cup um, yeah. and, and, and a, a lanyard i wanted t-shirts i wanted to buy as much ride happiness merch as i could um but price put me off on some of the things but also lack of sizes uh, was another thing but that's something that you're probably going to hear an awful lot um but other than that that's pretty yeah. much Plopsaland. um to put it in context as to what i think of Plopsaland, ride happiness has knocked the smile off top spot heidi uh, heidi the ride has it's knocked wickerman off top spot and that's for both of us as and well, yeah. um anubis, anubis has taken rita 
Uh, which yeah. Rita's obviously not big for an awful lot of people, but that's this is the first park on our holiday, and already my top ten has been you know uh, sort of uh, upset completely. Uh, it's a really really excellent park, and it is. and it's quite from... easy to get to yeah. as well. We... If you're coming on public transport, tram station is literally next door. It's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, but uh, we come in on road and we found it relatively easy as well. Yeah, we, uh, we so no if, if we hadn't stopped at the hotel last night, it would literally be in a case of uh, coming out of the Eurotunnel and the motorway. I think it's the motorway that you're on, literally goes straight past uh, Japan. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it makes a difference about an hour, uh, forty five minutes to an hour. Um, so incredibly well connected. If you're using public transport, it's incredibly well connected. Uh, yeah. I don't really have much negative to say about no, Plopsland. No, I don't. Um, so I no. think that's going to be a sign enough for uh, Plopsland today. Yep. Uh, now, uh, next stop's going to be um, the Ibis Al... I think it's Alas... Alst? Al- Alst. Alst. Um, <laughs> for the night. And then tomorrow, we're going to be at Bob Bajan Land. Land. Hopefully, haven't butchered the pronunciation of that. Yep. Um, but yeah, another park that we're looking forward to is going to be uh, you know, quite a few things uh, that uh, that stand out, such as Typhoon and Fury. Um, but there's plenty of things to look out for there. Yep. And I've seen that there's potentially merch uh, you know, the, 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 there as well, so that's a good thing. And also the opening of Terra Magna. You know, fingers Ooh, crossed yeah. we'll be the first to, uh, to ride that. Might even be the first Brits to ride that. that. So yeah. that'll be a laugh. But yeah, yeah we'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>